Well, first of all, I, I honor uh, all of the speakers up here and everybody in the room. Um, and I'm so humbled for this, for this opportunity to be here. I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 14, uh, verses 19 to, through 21. It's a familiar verse. And Jesus ordered the people to sit down on the grass. He took the five loaves and two fish, and looking up towards heaven, he blessed the food, and breaking the loaves, he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds, and they all ate and were satisfied. They picked up what was left over of the broken pieces, 12 full baskets. There were only about 5,000 men who ate, not even including women and children. So what I wanted to use for a title today, uh, No More Limits. And this is a passage that probably most people in the room are familiar with. Um, Jesus was going out to a desert place with his disciples um, and a big crowd started to follow him. And so the Bible says that Jesus had compassion on the multitude and he healed their sick. Um, and they were there so long to the evening time. And so the disciples told Jesus, uh, you need to go send these people away uh, so that they can go home and get something to eat. And, and Jesus gave them a strange instruction. He said, you feed them. And they're in the middle of nowhere. And uh, his disciple Andrew says, uh, but we only have over here a lad here with two fish and five loaves of bread. But what is that among so many? And I honestly feel like Andrew forgot who he was talking to. Uh, I think Andrew forgot that he was talking to the God who specializes in taking things that are not enough and inadequate and putting his blessing on it and using it to do what people thought it could not do. I think that Andrew forgot that this was the God who called a man named Moses who was a murderer and who had a speech impediment and used him to speak to Pharaoh and deliver a nation. I think that Andrew forgot that this was the same God who, uh, who, who touched the lips of a man who said, I'm a man of unclean lips and I dwell amongst the people of unclean lips. But he took that man, put his hand on him, and he used him to be his mouthpiece, to be a prophet. And so basically what I'm saying from this scripture is uh, they thought that the two fish and the five loaves were not enough. But I came to tell somebody that when God puts his blessing on anything or when God puts his blessing on you, he'll pour you out and use you to do things that you never thought you could do. And so that's why I call this No More Limits, because we need to stop seeing ourselves as inadequate. We need to stop seeing ourselves as not enough. There are things that God has called us to, that, and many opportunities that God has given us that we have rejected because we thought, oh, I don't speak like this person. I can't pray like this person. I can't lead like this person. But as we see in this passage, just like he gave the two fish and the five loaves over to Jesus, all you have to do is submit your life to the mission of the Father, and he will put his blessing on you, and he will make you more than enough. So don't see yourself as inadequate. Don't see yourself as not enough. Just submit to the Father's mission, and he'll bless you. He'll put his hand and his grace upon you, and you'll do things that you did not think that you could do. Amen. And so, as I was uh, reading this, with this scripture, um, it really spoke to me a lot uh, in my life because uh, statistics said that I am probably supposed to be in jail right now or I'm supposed to be out, out on the street doing crime. Uh, I came up in a, in a single parent home. My father was not in the house and I didn't see him. And the stats say that people like me are kind of in trouble. Uh, but when you're subject to the father's mission, God will put his hand on you. And after I leave ORU, I'll be the first male in my family from four generations to graduate from college. All glory to God. And I, I, I say that because, because from my background, some people would say I'm inadequate. Some people would say that I'm not enough because I did not have the perfect background that, that people should come up with. But I learned from this scripture, all you have to do is give your life fully over to the Father. Not just making him Savior, but making him Lord. And he'll put his blessing on you and he'll use you to beat the statistics. He'll use you to beat the curses that people spoke over you. He'll use you to overcome uh, uh, the things, that the struggles that you had. And he'll use you to do things that you never thought you could do. Who thought 
that two fish and five loaves of bread could have fed 5,000 people. If you give it over to Jesus, if you give yourself fully over to the Lord, no matter what your background is, no matter what your struggles are, no matter what your inadequacies, inadequacies are, God will use you to do things that you never thought you could do, and he'll use you to do things that other people said you couldn't do. And that's all I have for today. Amen.